mystery of rubber bands. Have you ever wondered where rubber bands come from? What if I told you, rubber bands origins trees? So, are trees related to rubber bands? Well, the primary industry plants the rubber trees. After planting rubber trees, they would delicately slice the tree diagonally. Afterwards, a white liquid, which is latex, would drizzle down. The latex will be sent to a refinery, which is a secondary industry. The first step in processing latex is purification. The refinery will separate the latex from any other impurities, such as tree sap and debris. But the latex is still far from becoming the rubber bands we're familiar with. To turn running latex into rubber, the latex will be filtered and removed from any other impurities. It will then be mixed with acid for around 10 hours. It will be placed through a mango to remove any extra acid and or water. It is then shredded and heated for 30 minutes. After being heated, the latex will become rubber. The rubber is then shipped to a rubber factory, which is also a secondary industry. Afterwards, the rubber slabs will be mixed with other chemicals, such as pigments. Afterwards, the rubber will be exposed to extreme heat. Then, it will be placed on a giant looking bowling pin, which will compress and squeeze the rubber. The rubber will then be torn into strips, and during the process, it will also cool the rubber. The rubbers will then be placed through aluminum holes to change the shape of the rubber into tubes. In addition, the tubes of rubber will be placed through a machine which slices them into rubber bands that we're familiar with. The elastic band will then be sent to a market where you can purchase it. And this is the tertiary industry.